Hey kids! The Day the Crayons Quit by Drew Daywalt. It's a good story about how crayons feel. The Day the Crayons Quit. I must have had a bad day. One day in class, Duncan went to take out his crayons and found a stack of letters with his name on them. To Duncan. Hey, Duncan, it's me, Red Cram. We need to talk. You make me work harder than any of your other crayons. All year long, I wear myself out coloring fire engines, apples, strawberries, and everything else that's red. I even work on holidays. I have to color all the Santas at Christmas and all the hearts on Valentine's Day. I need a rest. Your overworked friend, Red Cram. <laughs> There's purple. Hey, Duncan. All right, listen. I love that I'm your favorite crayon for grapes, dragons, and wizard hats. But it makes me crazy that so much of my gorgeous color goes outside the lines. If you don't start coloring inside the lines soon, I'm going to completely lose it. You're very neat friend, Purple Cram. Um, dear Duncan, um, I'm tired of being called light brown or uh, dark tan because I'm neither. Uh, I I'm beige and I'm proud of it. I'm also tired of being second to Mr. Brown Cram. It it's not fair that brown gets all the bears and ponies and puppies, while the only thing I get are turkey dinners, if I'm lucky. And wheat. And let's be honest, when was the last time you saw a kid excited about coloring wheat? <laughs> Your beige friend, Beige Cram. He has a point. Well, Duncan, uh, Great Cran here, you're killing me. I know you love elephants, and I know that elephants are gray, but that's a lot of space to color in all by myself. And don't even get me started on your rhinos, hippos, and humpback whales. You know how tired I am after holding one of those things? Ugh, such big animals. Baby penguins are gray, you know, so are very tiny rocks, pebbles. How about one of those once in a while to give me a break? Your very tired friend, Gray Cram. All the big animals are gray. This is interesting. Look at who's that? You can't even see him. Um, dear Duncan, you color with me, but why? Most of the time, I'm the same color as the page you are using me on. White. If I didn't have a black outline, you wouldn't even know I was there. I'm not even in the rainbow. And I'm, I'm only used in colors like snow or to fill in empty spaces between other things. And it leaves me feeling, well, empty. We need to talk. Your empty friend. White Cram. Never thought of that one either. Uh, hey, hi, Duncan. I hate being used to draw the outline of things, things that are colored in by other colors, all of which think they're brighter than me. <laughs> it's not fair. When you use me to draw a nice beach ball, and then fill in the colors with the ball with all the other crayons. How about a black beach ball sometime? Is that too much to ask? Your friend, black crayon. Look at, he's begging a black beach ball. Doesn't look very exciting, does it? <laughs> oh, look at this. Uh, dear Duncan, as green crayon, I am writing you writing to, for two reasons. One is to say that I like my job. 
loads of crocodiles, trees, dinosaurs, and frogs. I have no problems and wish to congratulate you on a very successful coloring things green career so far. The second reason I write to you is for my friends, yellowing crayon and orange crayon, who are no longer speaking to each other. Both crayons feel they should be the color of the sun. Please settle this soon because they're driving the rest of us crazy. Your happy friend, Green Crayon. <laughs> I love green. Uh, dear Duncan, here's Yellow Crayon. Yellow Crayon here, I need to tell you, Orange Crayon, that I am the color of the sun. I would tell him, but we're no longer speaking. And I can prove I'm the color of the sun too. Last Tuesday, you used me to color the sun in your Happy Farm coloring book. In case you've forgotten, it's on page seven. You can't miss me. I am shining down brilliantly on the field of yellow corn, your pal, and the true color of the sun, yellow crayon. Let's see what Orange has to say. Uh, hey, uh, dear Duncan, I see Yellow Crayon already talked to you. The big wiener. Anyway, could you please fill, uh, tell Mr. Tattletail that he is not the color of the sun? I would, but uh, we're no longer speaking. We both know that I'm clearly the color of the sun. Because on Thursday, you used me to color in the sun on both the Monkey Island and Meet the Zookeeper pages on your day at the zoo. Coloring book? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Orange, you glad I'm here? <laughs> your pal. And, oh, the real color of the sun. Orange crayon. Look at that. They're both having fights. I never thought crayons would ever have fights. Hey, dear Duncan, hey, it's about, it's been great being your favorite color in the past year and the year before and the year before that. Uh, I really enjoy all those oceans, lakes, rivers, raindrops, rain clouds, and clear skies. But the bad news is that I am so short and stubby that I can't even see over the railing in my crayon box anymore. I need a break and... Your very stubby friend, Blue Crayon. <laughs> you do use blue a lot. Oh, pink. Duncan, okay, listen here, kid. You have not used me once in the past year. Uh, it's because you think I'm a girl's color, isn't it? Speaking of which, please tell your little sister that I said... Thank you for using me to color in her little princess coloring book. I think she did a fabulous job staying inside the lines. <laughs> now, back to us. Could you please use me sometime to color the occasional pink dinosaur or monster or cowboy? Goodness knows they sure could use a splash of color. Your unused friend, Pink Crayon. <laughs> Oh, no. Hey, psst. Hey, Duncan. It's me. Peach Crayon. Uh, why did you peel off my paper wrapping? Now I'm naked and too embarrassed to leave the crayon box. I don't even have any underwear. So how would you like to go to school naked? I need some clothes. Help. Your naked friend, Peach Crayon. Well, poor Duncan just wanted to color. And of course he wanted his crayons to be happy. And that gave him an idea. So when Duncan showed his teacher his new picture, she gave him an A for coloring. Look at all of that. A blue bus and an orange whale. <laughs> that pink dinosaur. And an A for creativity. Isn't that wonderful? It is good to change things up, do things different. 
You guys have a great day and go in color with a new box of crayons. Bye.